You started writing pieces inspired by the garden, the Garden of Cosmic Speculation. What year was it we did those in Tanglewood? 2004 was the premiere. That's and, incredible. Yeah. What, what are the things about the garden that especially make you want to compose music for it? The whole, there's so many different subjects that are involved. Um, it's an unusual garden in that it, it references cosmology, philosophy, mathematics, physics, science, um, literature. So in revisiting the garden, after, especially after that nine-year uh, gap, I, was, I went back and, and sort of was studying my piece. And I can be reminded of the fact that I once was half out of my mind, and I, and I can now kind of get back into that feeling again and have, have a license for doing it. So The two new pieces, what are they, how would you sum up their extra musical content? The first is uh, referencing a segment of the garden that Jenks describes as the bone garden or the garden of death and rebirth. So I chose to, to express both, if you will. So I, I, I wrote a chaconne, which is a repeating chord progression, so an old traditional form, as you know. Um, but my chaconne modulates up a step when it finishes. So it, locally, it, the chords are kind of descending. So it has this feeling of, of downward, so represent, representing death, if you will. But the progression rises. And, and with each cycle, it's up one more step. And, and I keep adding to the orchestration. But it's getting naturally brighter because it's rising. So that's the life force, is actually living and rising through this perpetually dying progression, if you will, until finally it gets an octave higher from where we began, and the thing is just sort of exploding at that point, and then it, then it acquiesces. Um, and along the way, at the beginning and at the very end, I have some fun making references to um, noises that sounds you might hear in a, in a graveyard, like wind sounds and leaves rustling and bones rattling that are, that are <laughs> played by the uh, bamboo chimes. And so that was a little sort of... Uh, Fun. I had some fun with, with that, but it's really about the life force. And the second movement is completely different. It, it's, uh, Jenks has a portion of the garden he calls the Scottish Worthies, and he commemorates people of his choosing that, are, um, that he feels are worthy of, of notice, and a whole, a whole host of people, I think 17 in total. Far too many for me to address in one piece, so I, I chose uh, seven for this portion, for your piece here. It's basically almost like a, a little bit like uh, an, a, a mini enigma variations. You know, e each, each segment is tethered to one of these uh, worthies. They're mainly 1600s, 1700s uh, folks. And um, so I read up on them and read Jenks's writings on them and just sort of took the more salient features of, of these characters and thought, oh, this, I'll write something effervescent because this seemed like an effervescent character and you know, so on. And I, I intend to come back to the Scottish worthies and perhaps two other installments in future versions of the garden and uh, cover all 17 you know, at, at some point.